They on target. We're too close. Stay on target. Boring conversation. Anyway. Yeah. Yankee, my wanky. The donga needs food. You okay, Ozzy? I'm your father, Luke. Give in to the dark side of the force, you knob. Be front and center in all of it, Eric, and he will soon what depart is this? the White House for a rally in North Carolina. Why are After we tweeting his reaction Hang on. to the death of that's Justice hilarious? Hang on. The there we go. Ah! Holy fucking hell! We had political shit on here. Run! Oh yeah, hey, this is my other channel. So the Papa Drew channel, we keep it family friendly and it's rated over there and whatever. It's nice over here. Nah, not so much. I don't really care if you don't like what I'm saying. You don't like the language that I'm using. There's an unsub. Go ahead and unsub for me. It won't hurt my feelings. You can take off. You can leave. I don't really care. That's not going to hurt my feelings either. Um, we're here to teach. We're here to learn over here, and we're here to help you. Now, there's some stuff that you're going to need to uh, take classes. One is in a beverage of your choice. It can be an adult beverage. I have the uh, Brazen Brits in here, so that'll probably be Jen. Um, you can have... A beverage of your choice. I recommend a towel. So when you say something stupid, you're going to spit stuff across the room. You need to clean that up so we don't make a mess. The one thing I do ask everybody to do before we get started is like, subscribe, and share. And if you don't, I'm coming through the bloody camera. I'm going to take your cake. I'm going to steal your ho-ho. I'm going to stick you in the eye with a zinger, and it's going to hurt, but I'll have all the desserts over here, so I win. Epic. All right. We're going to do a little bit of computer work before we get into this. What this class is going to teach, what I'm going to try and help everybody do is we all want our videos to rank high. Why? Because it helps us in the search, right? It helps us get noticed. It helps us get watch time. It helps us with the analytics. It's just a good thing to do. So have you ever wondered why there's some videos that are beating out millions of views and like a channel like mine with just a couple thousand subs on my other channel can beat out a Nat Geo video for Christ's sake with a million views? It's because whoever published the Nat Geo video didn't know what in the hell they were doing and they didn't have the right SEOs. They didn't take the time. They didn't search for the ranking and how to, to, to make that video come up number one in the search results. You got to remember, Google is the number one search engine on the freaking planet. Coming in on a close second and owned by Google and censoring everybody is freaking YouTube, right? So we got Google and we got YouTube. You want to rank in Google and you want to rank in YouTube, right? That's how your stuff's going to get seen by a bunch of freaking people out there. And it's going to get shared and you're going to make some money on the platform. I had a video tooting my own horn and I always love to watch some pleasure because if we've learned anything by watching me in the chat is that I really love the pleasure myself over and over again. But that being said, <laughs> um, I just make myself laugh. I can't, you know, whatever. I'm the fat kid that's having a problem. Anyway, I had a video get released. It didn't do real good. It was kind of floundering. And then all of a sudden, it took off like a rocket ship. Boom. It took off. Got over a 1,000 views. It fooled the algorithms and started to get shared everywhere. Thing was doing great. I was like, oh, my God, I dropped the load. Right. I had to clean out my drawers because I was excited. And then all of a sudden, Google and YouTube stopped sharing a damn thing. So I was like, what in the hell? So then that died. And I was like, I was shorted. And 
a good thing. I got it over a thousand views in a couple of days. You can do that too. I'm going to teach you how to do that. First of all, can everybody hear what I'm saying? Because if not, this is going to be like a bad freaking Chinese Kung Fu movie. So you over there, date my sister or I will kill you myself. So can y'all hear me? I know you can see me because I'm uglier than a modern art masterpiece. I get it. So I need to know if you can hear me and you can see me. Somebody just type in the five people that are freaking watching and the six people that have just done whatever. <laughs> Hello. I can't tell. I'm on a delay somewhere down the road. All right. Anyway, here we go. So we're going to come over here. We're going to do a little bit of screen sharing. During class here, if anybody has any questions, please call me up on the voicemail on the phone number. It's working and it's up right now. Um, type into the chat and I'll stop what I'm doing and I'll try and go over. Because if you have a question out there, I guarantee five or six other people that are in this chat are going to have um, the same question, right? It's like the Brazen Brit and their left fence. Epic video today. I wish you would have peed on it. Is that what made it even better? Just saying, giving you a little bit of constructive criticism because we all wanted to see you peeing on the fence. Nobody else typed it in there. I'm just saying. All right. So let's do a little bit of screen sharing. And come over here to Chrome. We're going to come over to YouTube. And we're going to share that. <sighs> okay. Can everybody see the YouTube channel now up here? There's two ways to search. When you are when you have your video or you have your idea of your video, before you film shit, before you do any of the filming, right, it is in your best interest to come over to YouTube like this, like what I'm doing here, and type in, what you're thinking about making a video for and see who else has made that video. Then you might want to do a little bit of research and see how they filmed that video and what are they using to film that video. I do that a lot. I'll go through and I'll see who, who's ranking where, what are their videos about, and I'll do it just like this. So I'm going to put out a video coming out, spoiler alert, on a Green Mountain Grill. Everybody wants one. It's going to be an epic review. You'll love it. Trust me. So G M G, right? Davy Crockett, Green Mountain Grill. Do you see how that pops up right here? Just by doing a search in YouTube, these are all part of your SEOs. These are taglines. These are what people are searching for in YouTube. When they're coming up and they're looking they're looking for stuff to do a video on. I'm going to do a review of Green Mountain Grill, Davy Crockett. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on Green Mountain Grill, Davy Crockett. It's going to come up with people that have done the reviews in the past. And this is where your add-ons are going to be really, really helpful. As far as your TubeBuddy goes, which is free, or you can get, they have paid, paid or your VidIQ, which is up here. I use both. I have both installed and they're both running. VidIQ I have for free. I don't pay for that service. But TubeBuddy I pay a very small amount every month and it absolutely is worth it. It helps me rank my videos. Okay? So just so you know what the numbers are. These are 17 people who are right now are watching something of mine on YouTube on my Papa Drew's channel. I've had 403 visitors uh, in 48 hours. I've had uh, 1,407 views in seven days. I've had 4,400 uh, views in, um, in, 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 in minutes in seven days and uh, 2,100 2, subscribers. <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't mean to click that. Stop, go back. Right, so I'm going to do a review on the Davy Crockett. I'm going to come over here and see First of all, in my vidIQ score, which is going to populate right here. 
So it's telling me my keywords that I'm picking up here for Davy Crockett, vidIQ is telling me that out of 100, it's 46. It's giving me my competition, which is right here, which is low. And over here is my search volume, which is the top number, which is really low, right? So that's not the greatest. 46 is not a great score. You want to get it higher. Get it up, guys. The ladies will like you later. That's a spitting moment and clean. Yeah, okay. So keep going. <laughs> I'm going to come down to a service that I pay for, which is TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is telling me over here that that keyword sucks, right? So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click the keyword. Now, you can do this part of this is for free. You can get the TubeBuddy, this part, for free. All right. And it'll tell you what your score is for keywords and stuff. I believe this is part is free. So it tells me what my weighted score is and what my unweighted score is. This is what I do. I'll do this for hours to get my videos to rank. And I usually do within the top 10. I don't care if you've done a million view video or if you've done a brand new video like I have with 100 views on it. I will generally get my videos to rank within the top 10 of my competitors. And this is how I do it. The secret sauce. Everybody's telling you all this kind of fluff and, and stories. It's all bullshit. This is how you do it. This is the nuts and the bolts of how you rank your videos. Does anybody have any freaking questions right now? I see we got the Wags in the house. We got the Brits in the house. We got B&D Craft. We got RV... Uh, RV Weekends, which they just did a great premiere. It's awesome. I hope he ranks it. So let's see if we can get this search just a little bit higher, right? So for my channel, it says, it even tells you being a, a dweeb. It says, try clicking the keywords in the related panel to find a better score. I can come over here to commonly use keywords for my Green Mountain Grill. So let's close it. This isn't going to work very good, right? But I want to do a review. So I'm going to put in review. Look what popped up. GMG Davy Crockett review, right? And underneath Green Mountain Grill, which is GMG, that's what the abbreviation stands for. Green Mountain Grill Davy Crockett review. See that? And then the next one that people are searching for, these are what real people are searching for. Now I'm going to tell you how to go because YouTube's a little biased in your searches when you're searching this way. I'm going to show you how to make it so YouTube isn't biased. It'll, it'll, it'll leave you alone so you can find stuff. Sherry, Sherry does all of that. Sherry is the is is on the chat. Okay, well, hey, it, this is non-binary, dude. It doesn't discriminate. It doesn't identify as a man or a woman. It's freaking homework. All right, there you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit enter. Let's see what pops up. That's what she said. So we got a 45 score, right? Coming down here now again. The vidIQ stuff, all this vidIQ stuff is completely free, 100% free. I do not pay for vidIQ, all right? So it's telling me the competition is very low. I'm getting very low search volume out of it, 45 out of 100. I'm coming up, and I'm looking, and I'm saying, okay, so what are what am I going to compete against? I know what my channel usually gets in views. Where am I going to fit into the realm of, of the scope of, of what other people are, 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 are ranking, right? So two months ago, this dude got 437 views. A year ago, this guy got 24,000. This is Green Mountain Grill, by the way. That's the freaking factory. This guy with the worst thumbnail I've ever seen, it looks like he's covering up his private parts, that dude got 6,700 uh, 6, views and got a 78% of thumbs down. Not the greatest. Keep going down. There's RV Habit. He got 24,000 views. He's probably a bigger channel. 
There's a cheesy thumbnail from some dude out in the middle of nowhere. Keep going. So, all right. Let's take a look and see what the score is. Okay. Check this out. The score is 24 out of 100. If I cruise down a little bit, it'll tell me. GMG Davy Crockett is at a 60% search rate. That's pretty good. That's why I'm kind of keeping that up in the search thing. Green Mountain Grill coming in at 60%. Those are keywords that I can use in my search requirements. So this is what I'm doing right now is I'm building the damn title or part of the title for the video that I'm about ready to release to help people search for stuff. This is a review. This isn't like a vlog. Like, you know, when Wayward Wags gets his like big toe stuck in a door somewhere and it freaking falls off and he puts my toe fell off or did it check on the video to see that that's an enticing thumbnail to come in and, and check that out. This is a review thumbnail. It's not going to be that enticing. It could be GMG. Uh, Davy Crockett. Is it worth it? Let's try it. See what it says. Is it is it worth it? There it is. Look, it popped up. See that? Let's see how it comes out. Let's take a let's take a look. Right? As soon as my freaking all the women are in the back, they're streaming like I don't know, whatever they're watching back there. 44. On the vid IQ stuff, coming down. Let's see what let's see what uh, two buddy has to say about this. Does anybody have any questions? Forty six out of a hundred. Look at that. That's not bad. That's unweighted. That's the unweighted score. Let's see what the weighted score is versus my channel. Hey, no. Do not jump out of the fifth floor window. Cleo, no. There's no water there. Hey, look at that. We got, it's in the yellow. Search volume is poor, so not a lot of people are looking for that title. It's enticing, though. It could suck them in, right? The keyword isn't too competitive. Um, Has enough search volume to make it worth targeting. It's telling you, eh. Maybe you might want to do it. You might not want to do it, right? Gabby, can you do that? No. Sorry. Dad. Thanks. I appreciate that, sweetheart. Um, you want to say hi to everybody? Hello. Come here. Say hi to everybody. This is Gabby, hi. my little one. We just got done painting her room, so she's blue. Smurf. Um, Davy Crockett is Davy Crockett. Davy Crockett problems. Oh. Uh, Davy Crockett, what problems? Or problems? Is there problems with the grill? Yeah, that's a that's a well, and we'll do a search for that. Uh, I don't know if that's Dustin or Leslie. It's probably Dustin. We'll do a search for that. So what Dustin is telling everybody is make it enticing of. Okay, it's ranking high, which you want, because if it doesn't rank high, nobody's going to freaking find it. Unless you have the audience and the, the push out to people that kind of jump started. I'm trying to show you how you can jump start this without pushing it out to Facebook and to Twitter and to Instagram. I'm teaching you how to rank your video. So when it hits YouTube, which again is the second biggest search engine on the planet, People are going to see it, and that's what I want you guys to learn. Okay, so scrolling down, it's 46. Vid IQ and me, 40 coming through here. So it's a little bit less. Let's see what the weighted. Sometimes unweighted and weighted with buddy will switch back and forth. So you'll have it a little different. So my weighted results. 
That's coming in at 46. Oh, you, okay. Can't see her through the full screen. All right. Well, that's good. So let's try, let's try Dustin's, um, don't, what is it? Uh, don't buy until you watch this. And then to make it even better, YouTube for some freaking reason loves, I don't know why, but they love those. They love those little quotes. Let's see where this, let's see where this ranks. Are you guys like digging this or is this like not fun? Because let me know. I got a whole bunch of stuff to teach everybody, like a lot. So vidIQ didn't like that. It didn't like that at all. But let's see what TubeBuddy, because sometimes TubeBuddy and vidIQ, they don't play night. They don't, they're not the same, which you would think they would be the same because they're both running off the same data on their, maybe, di maybe they have different algorithms. I don't know. Sometimes TubeBuddy doesn't like the quotes. Sometimes they do. So let's get rid of the let's get rid of the quotes and put the air bracket. Let's put the brackets in. YouTube just loves their brackets. That's a trick. I'm lagging, Dustin, is what's going on here. Try to work with you. I can edit with this thing. Freaking metal. Forty six. And then what we can do is we can take a couple looks at some of my other videos that did rank really high, and we'll go through how I picked out the tags and I, I got the video ready for market, like how I finished and bundled everything up. Look at this. Check this out. 71% on a search. That's freaking what you want to see. That's going to rank your video higher than somebody else's video that's been there for a while the one thing i don't like about this now it's ranking really well in the uh, weighted it's strength competition but it's poor what i try and do typically for my videos i'll keep tweaking this a little bit till i can get me this poor meter to the yellow so i try and get between 70 to 98 percent with the um, tube buddy. That's where all my videos fall. I try and get between 70 and 90%. And that's, that's just to push me out of the plane to get me the views. That's how a bigger, that's how the bigger channels or the channels that are growing are getting your views. That's how they're stealing your marketplace. They're doing stuff like this. And sometimes this process will take longer than freaking making the video. I'll spend hours doing this and maybe a couple hours of shooting and maybe three or four hours of editing. But I'll spend two or three hours just looking at this just to rank my videos. That's how important this is. So let's go over to one of my videos right now. and We'll go take a look at my channel. And we'll go through the back part of this. Uh, how long have I been on for? 24 minutes? Okay, cool. Let's go take a look at my channel. This is on Papa Drew. Not RVers Live. So you can see 
the last video I did with Cleo, the dock diving videos, um, it's looking good. People are, are choosing to watch your videos uh, as, as often as usual. So I'm on task and on target right there. On my impression, we'll go through all, well, I usually try and get between a four and a five on my click-through rate, on my CTR, and I'll explain why so high. Um, people are watching. They like the, the video is not bad. My watch time is down on it, but it's not that bad. Let's go through and I'll show you one of my videos that I made. I'll show you the video that went to a thousand like that. And we'll explain how to get more of your SEO scores and everything. Um, uh, yeah, Dustin, that's a good point. But however, I have the video. It was 48 hours after it published and then something freaking happened and it started getting shared at 16, 70%. It was getting pushed out the door after 48 hours after the video tanked when it was released. And it might have been the thumbnail that was pushing this video. And it ranked higher than um, the Nat Geo video with, uh, with a dog whisperer dude teaching a Great Dane how to swim. I actually beat them with this video in the rankings. And I'm going to show you how I did this. So here's my tag right here. Great Dane versus water. Right? And if we come in... And we do a search on this. I'm just going to copy it. And we'll do a search. Do a search on that here in a minute. But as you look, in my description here, it's thank you for clicking on uh, the video about. Click the down areas for more. Great Dane versus water. There's from the, the title is in the description once. And if you keep reading, I guarantee it's in there at least three times in that description. The reason why it's in there is because this is how you're getting your SEOs. This is the creep crawler going to start finding this. Yeah, see that I'm, I'm kind of agreeing, Dustin, with the Brits. It, it just depends on the video and where that thumbnail is ranking. You have a better shot of your video in 24 hours being pushed out and, and taking off. It just depends on the video and where the video ranks on your thumbnails. I have videos from five years ago that are taking off again, and they're evergreen videos, and every year during the summer, they're going to take off again. But we'll go into that later on, and I'm, I want to explain, like, all of this stuff to people. I really do. Not just weird. I, we're going to get there, and I'm going to teach everybody how to do this stuff. But anyway, for your ranking for your SEOs, if you look, my, my title is in my description three times. Okay, and there's a reason why it's like that. If you come down and you put about this episode, if you look there, Great Dane versus water. Cleo loves water. At a very young age, we took her to the beach, blah, 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 blah. There's a bunch of Great Danes, Great Danes versus water in that sentence. I keep putting, do you see what I'm doing here? I keep repeating that title in many different spots throughout my um, description below. Other thing I did was video link. I took my video and I put it in the description. Why? Because the SEOs are looking for that. Your search engines are looking for that kind of stuff. I'm helping it find my video. I'm giving my video a leg up over somebody who's not doing all of this stuff. If you come down, you can see my thumbnail. This is one of my thumbnails right there. It's close to what my thumbnail is right now. Dustin and I have, have, have we agree on this. Use the thumbnails that YouTube is giving you. Or find a, find a thumbnail that's close. What the Brits write? We were exceptional that wise, but we put a video out that delivered for months, then picked up like crazy, got 30K views in like five months. Yeah, okay. Anybody have any questions? 
question questions i know you have questions out there i know you do God, we have ways of making you talk it's my best german i you know <laughs> anyway getting back on the target on topic coming down my score 71.2 my checklist I did eight out of nine things for this video to rank the way it did. I'm telling you, it's it. this is like a religion. When I make the video, that's just making the video. This is the back part of it, the back end of it, that other YouTubers don't tell you. They'll give you the fluff, but they won't tell you the nuts and the bolts of how to do this. And that's what I'm trying to deliver. I hope I'm doing it. If you like, please share this. I would really appreciate you sharing this to any social media. It helps me out. We, I'm going to go over some stuff that really pisses me off at the end of this. And I'll explain later. And if I piss people off, I piss people off. But we're, I'm going to vent here in a little bit. And you're going to love it. I'm going to get a text from Dustin. Don't do it. Anyway, I got five tag counts. So that means I've got five tags in my in my title and in my description down below here, five of them, right? So you can't get any better. It's five. That's like some. Another tip is just put wayward wags in the title and description and the thumbnail. You you can do that's a little misleading. And I was, you know, I was doing that when I was a very, very small channel. And I thought about it. I'm like, you know, I probably shouldn't be dropping some of these names in there. The next thing I did was tag volume. Actionable score is 46.2 out of 50. You want to make sure all this stuff is green. Keep putting over and over and over your stuff in the description, in the titles, and in your tags. Make sure you put them in your tags. Right? I bet you if we look through here, look, Great Dane, 40. Great Dane versus water. Look at that. Number one. That tag is ranked number one. That tag is ranked number one. I have five out of five ranked tags in there. I'll keep putting tags in. And here's a, here's a pro tip. If you don't know where to get your tags, go to what your title is. See what comes up. Click on the highest amount of views there is on that on that particular subject that you're making your video on. Look at their tags. See what rank tags they have and copy them. All fair in love and war. It's not cheating. It's just freaking getting ahead. And not that kind of head. That's another wipe the screen off kind of moment. That's what she said. Anyway, it'll help you. Install TubeBuddy. It will help. Install VidIQ. It will help. It'll give you an idea of which way to go. Left, right, center. It'll give you contrasting opinions, which is good. Sorry about that. Pop filter. Um. It gives you suggestions. This is vidIQ. This is TubeBuddy. This is the paid version of the TubeBuddy. So it tells me Irish Wolfhound. That's ranking at 54. I don't have an Irish Wolfhound. I'm not going to put it in there. When you put your tags in too, it's really important that you don't put stupid tags in here. Like if you're doing a video on um, poop tanks, don't put a video on like freaking beds that don't squeak while you're doing it. They aren't, they're not related. They might both get hits and a lot of views, but they're not the same unless you have a weird kind of bed where you don't have to get out of it to, to go. But um, you can use other people's tags and put them in. Here's a pro tip. We're all RVers. Camping World, for some reason, is ranked really high. You can drop that in your tags, if you're close to your green in your vidIQ scores, you can drop that in there and it will um, it'll raise your score up if you need it a little bit. It'll help you out a little bit. 
Just a pro tip. Camping world. I know. Stupid. So this is where the video, this is how it did. So when I go back to the YouTubes, if I go back, I go back again to the YouTubes. Go back again to the YouTubes. <clears throat> Close all this out. Paste. Enter. Look at that. Look at that. Look where my video ranked versus the other videos. I beat out a 2 million view video. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. I usually do really good at this kind of stuff, guys and ladies. It's Look, now this is what I'm telling you. VidIQ and TubeBuddy, they don't play. There's something weird. There's a disconnect, right? It's like your ugly cousin Martha hitting on um, incest Bob over here. It just doesn't work right. You know, weird kids. <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble. And there went my YouTube career. Come on, too, buddy. Come on up. I'm trying to teach a damn class. You ain't helping. Here we go. Here we go. It just broke, broke too, buddy. Anyway, if you could see it when it oh, it's just going slow. When when you see two buddy come popping up here, eventually if it comes, um, it got really high. This video was over at ninety something percent. Does anybody have any major questions? I'm in sir concern. We got nine people watching, and that's fine. This will grow. As people rub it, it will it will grow. Now, the next thing you can do is come over here to the incognito window. This is how you get YouTube to stop being biased. So, in other words, when you do searches in YouTube and you're searching for weird stuff, right? You're searching for, I don't know, just dumb stuff. YouTube remembers that. YouTube also remembers what you looked at. So if you start looking at a bunch of things that YouTube doesn't like, like pew pew stuff and things, YouTube freaking remembers that. And I think they, they're they not very good about stuff like that. Ban, it's just really bad. So just know when you go looking at things, Big Brother here is watching, and they're watching hard. And that algorithm, it doesn't discriminate, man. It'll just nail you, trust me. So go to YouTube here under the incognito window, right? Now watch, you're going to notice something weird. In my window, I rank number one. Why? Because I did a lot of searches and a lot of research on that particular title. If I come here and hit enter, well, it's still ranked number one. Go figure. YouTube thinks that's a great video, and that's why it got over a thousand views in like one day. And then YouTube figured out people were watching it for a minute and 30 seconds out of a 15 minute video and said, Nay, nay, my friends, that's not a good video. Let's try this one. We don't, we, we didn't see that in, can, yeah. So this is what I'm going to be, when I, when I'm competing, if I use this title, this is what I'm going to be competing with. 
This guy two months ago did a 221 view Green Mountain Grill, right? The factory a year ago did 24,000s. Two months ago, this guy did 437. Four months ago, this guy did 3,000. This might be a catchphrase that I want to target to break into this market of videos. This could be a very good key phrase for me to target on and then get all my SEO tags and search engine optimization and all that stuff that I showed you how to do just like this. I'm telling you, if you all start doing this kind of stuff and take an hour or two hours to do the research on what you want to do, I guarantee that your videos are going to start ranking higher than somebody who's not doing this. And I guarantee you're going to start driving more traffic to your, to your YouTube channel. You're going to start growing your YouTube channel like crazy. And you're going to start getting more subscribers. It's only going to help you. But you have to put in the back end. You have to put in the legwork in order for that to happen. And I'm just, I really want everybody in the channel here, all 11 of you, I really, really, really want you guys to succeed. And you can't fucking succeed if you don't put in the freaking work to do it, right? I don't care how pretty you are. If you don't get the courage to ask that girl out, you're never going to get laid. I'm just telling you, just how it is. You can wipe off your monitors right now if you want to. All right. <laughs> I don't do this on my other channel. It's just this one. And I warned you. I told you. So I'm still in the incognito thing. Um, did I just crash everything? Nope, StreamYard's still up. Okay, cool. Does anybody want to come up right now and um, do a little bit of chatting and come into the, to the StreamYard and... Um, give their two cents on this stuff because uh, we could do that real quick. We'll just throw out an invite and see if somebody wants to come up and see what they've been doing to rank on their videos because I'm real curious to find out. There's the window. Come on up. Jump in the basement. Do what you got to do. Uh, just make sure you're wearing pants. Because nobody wants to see that, not even me. Do you want to see that, Angie? Nope. Angie doesn't want to see that. So make sure you're wearing pants. Angie is, to my dismay. Um, if nobody jumps up, that's okay. What's my other channel? Lynn Oki, this is Papa Drew. This is Papa Drew's RV. Hi, fat kid, Papa Drew. So we can go through some more channels here. And um, that's basically how I rank all my channels. If we come over to YouTube Studios, and I'm going to put my mouth, I'll put my mouth on the meat here, and, and I'll prove it in the pudding. Um, just by showing you that I'm not actually just, you know, talking out one end of my ass. I'm actually, like, this is what I do. Your internet's not good enough. <clears throat> That's okay. So that this is the one that we just looked at. Is this still sharing on, on the screen? Oh, okay. Here's Sherry. Okay. Hello. 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 Howdy, howdy. Let's get a. So can you hear so, me? Okay. Yeah, I got you. Five by five. So who does the editing? Do you do it, or do you, do you? Does Robert do it? Robert does it. Okay. So who does all the SEOs and all this stuff? You do all this. So he'll do all the editing, and then you'll do all the posting and all the back end leg work. The stuff mm -hmm. that really is a pain in the ass. Mm -hmm. This stuff's not easy. I'm, yeah, I do. I do the, the thumbnails, all that. Okay, so is there any different, or do, am I doing? Am I teaching you exactly that you do it? No, I don't really do much with it. I hit or miss. Okay. I just, 
I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so you're just making the video. You're putting a name on it of what you think it should be, and then you're just sending it up. You're hitting publish. Yeah, throwing a bunch of tags in it that I think might work, but not really knowing what okay. I'm doing. Okay, so is this helping you then the way that I'm mm -hmm. showing you how to do this stuff? Okay. Yeah, I do do. I go in TubeBuddy and do it a little bit on TubeBuddy, but not not to the depth that you did. Okay, so we're going to. Can, can you all, yeah, you guys can all still see the screen. Okay, so I'm going to come down here and just do, that was Great Dane versus Water. So I'm doing a whole Great Dane dock diving series. Uh, the Brazen Brits just put out a really good video on dock diving with dogs and um, didn't even give me a plug. What in the hell? Jump, bust balls, just get It was a great video. Go over there, check it out. Let's go check this one out. Just so you know, I'm not full of crap, and I'm actually, this is how I actually do the stuff. So what is this video about? Now, I want to do clickbait, right? I want to want to show people, actually, when you click on this, this is what you're going to get. So Great Dane, guys, Great Dane, I need a, I need an office so bad. Great Dane, um, water ramp dog training class, right? If you look... It's right here in the description, right there within like the beginning. If you come down here, look, it's right here again. See it? Mm -hmm. If you come down here, look, look, look where it is again. There's a reason why I'm doing that. The reason why is, is to get those SEOs, those tags, those keywords higher. So the one, YouTube knows what, what it's about. And two, they know how to search and like show it to people. Because if they don't, then what the hell are you doing? Yeah. You know, look, I even have it again. It's right here. Now, you have to be really creative <laughs> on how you use the same freaking sentence 20 times in your description. Make it make sense. Don't just write the description 20 times. Because then you look like an artard. Don't do that. <laughs> that was a spit it out moment. Do you like the new Papa Drew, by the way? I mean, it's unfiltered. It's, you know, it's this is how I am. I like both of them. Yeah, sometimes a filter's good. My wife says my filter's broken. Um, These are the thumbnails, right? You can see that in this one, I was trying real hard to... um. Is it where's okay? So keep going down. God, it's so hard because it's my computer so low. So look, three playlists. We'll go over the why the playlists are so critical. I have end screens. I, I do that art. part. I'm gonna I'm gonna teach you this. I will teach you when the right time to drop a, a card is, when the right time to where to put the end screens and how to put the end screens. I'm gonna teach you that so you can maximize that. As far as views, I'm going to teach you how to make playlists and how to optimize your playlists. So when people click on your videos, the next video up in the queue is yours. I'm going to teach people how to do that. I want you guys to succeed. I really, really do. Um, coming down, look, the VidIQ score is 56.2. Anything in the green is great. I did eight out of nine on my checklist. Five out of five tag, uh, uh, tag count, right? Two out of five. Five out of five keywords in the title. Five out of five keywords in the description. That's writing the same thing over and over again and using it in that description and optimizing it for your search results, your SEO, right? It's got two ranked tags. Now, I did good on the old video. So what did I do? I copied the tags from the old video and put them in here and tweaked them just a little bit. How did I tweak them? I took out Great Dane versus Water because this video has nothing to do with Great Dane versus Water. This is the ramp video. And I put that in here. Somewhere in here, it's going to say Great Dane uh, and ramp training. Somewhere in this thing, and I don't know where it is. It's somewhere in here, right? Right. 40, uh, 496 out of 500. I'm using almost all of my tags. Everything they give me, I'm using. 
There's reasons why we do that. You know? Now, now Lauren, I've never I'm used the question. vidIQ. Yeah, we don't pay for vidIQ. vidIQ is free for us. We don't pay for it. I use TubeBuddy because uh, Black Friday, pro tip, they're going to probably have a discount out where it's like, I think I pay $9 a month or something ridiculous, cheap, for like the middle level of TubeBuddy, wow. which has been like perfect for us. So I, we just do that. And it's it's really worked out. And I'm able to take advantage of their stuff. Okay. Right. So again, this is like good stuff. Actionable, 46.2 out of 50. You know, I, I tell you that I'm doing this stuff. I'm showing you how I'm doing this stuff. Replay this, send it to a friend. Or I'm coming through the screen and I'm going to steal your cake. The next thing that you can do, and don't, this is the maximum amount you want as far as um, hashtags. And if you ever look at somebody's video, you'll notice underneath their video on the left-hand side that there's these hashtags, right, underneath their video. This is where you put the hashtags in. The next video I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you a trick. And this is a freaking cool trick I'm going to show everybody. I'm just letting all my secrets out of the bag right now. But look at that. See the hashtags? Do you, Sherry, do you do that? Mm -hmm. I do do that. And I have the same ones that are on every one of them. And then I add more to them. Right. But you can only put so many before they don't work. Okay. So this is the maximum amount is what I have right here. I think I have one less. So it's one, two, three, four, ten. five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I think it's 10. I think you're allowed 10 hashtags. And then anything above that, they just, they're like, no, they just won't count them. Now you were showing a score for that. Where's that at again? The score? Yeah. I have, there's two scores. I don't know why it's not showing on that one, but on down here, this score right here. Yeah. I don't have that on mine. So that's two buddy. That's free. I don't that's have two buddy. Okay. You need to go get two buddy. I have it. Okay. But I don't I see that. But this is vid IQ too. I'm sorry. This is vid IQ score. Okay. This is vid IQ. You have vid IQ, right? I I just joined it, but it's not showing up on my okay. studio. Okay. You need to um, watch a YouTube and then see um, how to get that to work because it's an add-on to your um, browser. Let's check okay. the next. Let's check the next video, and I'm going to show everybody something really cool. So bear with me. This is the last this is the last video I just did and I have another one coming up in the series. Great Dane training class ramp work. Again, if you look, it's in three playlists and screen and cards. I did a custom thumbnail. Um, I actually got lucky and there were professionals that came up. How do you put hashtags in your description? Linoki, I'm going to show you right now. So you go down to the end. So your description starts off like this, right? When you, when you, when you, um, when you publish your videos, your description, it starts like this, right? From your, from your um, studio. So you have the name of your title. Then you have your description. This is what I want to show everybody because this is really neat. And then you come down here to the very bottom and you type in hashtag and whatever your video is about or what you think your video is about. Here's a, here's a really helpful hint on your hashtags. Make your hashtags high rank keywords. Okay. So when you're dropping a hashtag like Dane, Great Dane, Doc Diving, those are all highly ranked keywords in a hashtag format. The hashtags will pick them up. Google search will pick them up. YouTube will pick them up. It will absolutely, you can use those hashtags to your advantage, and it all ties into your SEOs, all of this, all of it. Did that help you out, Linoki? And you can see down here, if you look, check this out. 71.2% on my, on my performance score. 
Uh, RV <laughs> weekend. <laughs> Dustin. Look at that. 71.2 because everything I'm telling you, if you look at these last three videos, they've all been above 45. All of them. And that's that's what I've been trying to get to everybody. Get your videos up into the green, above 45, above 50. Try and rank your videos that high up in the SEO stuff. And I guarantee it's going to help you. And I'm really passionate about that. Look at that. Actionable. 46 out of 50. 50 in the tag count. All this is good stuff, man. Five out of five ranked tags. Dustin, I looked at you. And the other neat thing, too, is I can click on Wayward Wag's video that he just did, and I can see what he's using for tags and how his ranking did on his tags. And if he's really boogieing and trying to put tags out and doing his, doing the right thing. And Dustin is. I'm looking at his stuff going, all right, cool. He's, he's doing his stuff. Not that I can do anything if Dustin doesn't do it. I might call him lazy, but you know, <laughs> whatever. He's me guy. What do you expect? You can take 10 of them to tie their shoes. So you can see the tags right here. Look, Papa Drew, don't be afraid to drop your own video. It's your channel. Put your video tags in there. People are searching for that. Trust me, they are. Then recommend it. This is all tube buddy recommended, so it's ranking my tags for me. Do I want to use puppy training? No, the, the Dane is three years old. I'm going to put it in there. Great Dane puppy? No. Again, I don't want to mislead people. Is it about RV life? No. Papa Drew's family RV channel, 49.7. It's ranked. Really? <laughs> RV living. I'm telling you. I don't I haven't done any tags. You need to start doing them, Linoki. You need to start putting them in. You need to start ranking your tags and, and doing that kind of stuff. I'm telling you, it's you're, it's gonna make a, a world of difference. It really is going to, to, to help. <laughs> um any other questions? Oh, I'm sorry, I was gonna show you something. Um I had a Papa Drew moment. I'm getting old. I'm 50. <coughs> Here. So if you look at this video, if you go to this video in in the, you know how it has the little bar that goes across as the timeline goes across? You know what I'm talking about? As the video is playing? Mm -hmm. At 15 seconds, you can, you can put your mouse on there, and it'll give a block of time, and it'll say, Papa Drew's info talking about class. And then in 55 seconds, uh, I just got I just uh, just got up. No, thank you. Okay, so I'm talking about something's going on in the video. Low ramp work, first ramp jump ever. <laughs> right, and the reason it does that if you do not put this zero uh, colon zero zero start, <laughs> if you don't put that in there, none of that's going to work. It's just going to be a timestamp which is great. Google's looking for your timestamps. But if you put the zero colon zero zero, that's going to make it so on your, you have a live time timestamp going across when you put your mouse. And they really I noticed that on your last one. Yeah. I've that, never done that. That's because of this. And all I had to do was put zero, or just put this right here. This right there. <laughs> Just uh, that little bit of code, that simple little code right there did everything. And that's and just I, in your description. Yeah, it's just in my description. No secrets, no magic, just right there. That's it. Isn't that cool? Hmm. <laughs> Anybody have any other questions? Who's going to go out and try all this stuff? Not sure how you do the tags themselves. So you're looking at how to do that. Okay. So. I'm doing it as you're talking. And it's, it's kind of fun, isn't it? It's mm -hmm. like challenging you to see how you can get your, your stuff to grow. It's just kind of funny. All right. So let's go back to YouTube itself. 
Let's get out of YouTube Studio. So, Lynn Oki, what is one of the videos that you've either done or that you want to do? I'll walk you through it real quick. What just type in a video that you've done or that you that you want to do. By the way, how do I look on here? It's not getting dark yet, is it? Is it still dark or mm -mm. can you guys still see me? No, you're good. Okay. I got like freaking six hundred lights sitting in front. I got light here, I got a light there, I got a light there. It's like do you see the light? I turned all mine off. So, Pinocchio, can are you there? Is she there? So, somebody type in a video of the, uh, an upcoming video or video from the past, and we'll go go through the video that we want to to do a start and a finish and see where you ranked in your in that video, and I'll show you where you guys ranked for search results. How to, okay, here we go. How to make tea in a coffee pot. Perfect. Let us take a look at how to make tea in a coffee pot. I like that title. How to make tea. <coughs> how to make tea in a coffee pot. Okay. So right there. If you look, people are searching. I did. Okay. People are searching right here how to make tea in a coffee pot. People are also searching how to make sweet tea in a coffee pot. So now you can target <coughs> more. You can, you can really, if you're doing sweet tea, you can really start to narrow down what you want to do. Or um, don't drink this tea. You could, let's see, well, let's see where this, let's just see where you rank. Let's just see that. I've never searched this before, so YouTube's going to be like, what in the hell? Okay. <coughs> so your competition is medium out of this, according to vidIQ. T is coming in at 52% overall. And let's do this. For some reason, YouTube has been tricky <coughs> my extensions. <coughs> So let's stop sharing this one. Let's close this. Hang on for a second. Come back here. Go here. We're going to share a screen. Chrome tab. Here we'll share with audio. Okay, that come back up. There it is. Wow. So you did really good on your score there, Linoki. That's really, really good. You got an eighty-three percent on your score from VidIQ. If I come over here. I would absolutely and a hundred absolutely use this key. I would use this as the title <coughs> of my video. Absolutely, hands down. The reason why is it's it's not too competitive. It's got a good search. You're in the yellow there, and you're optimized for strength. If I come over here to results, I can see who's making them and what their last views are. This is what TubeBuddy can do for you. TubeBuddy's a pretty powerful tool. I would absolutely use that. How did it do on your, let's see how it did on your, um, let's 
Where did you rank? Did you make this video yet? Did she make this? And How are you feeling, by the way? Cher, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, getting there. Each day is a little better. See, I'm subscribed. Yay. I don't know why YouTube's, I don't know why YouTube's like not doing the bell. God, I wish I had a better computer. Uh -huh. Let's go to your videos. So, real quick, Lynn, what if I went here just real quick? Because I'm a nerd, so I'm gonna look at this. I, I wouldn't know what this is, what your channels are. Follow my journey to do what? Follow my journey to tea and coffee, donuts, hang out. What am I following the journey for? You see what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just trying to figure out what the journey is. Uh, let's see, sort by. You see what I'm saying, Sherry? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm trying to find her coffee video. Do you see it? Part one. No, let me go to her channel. I'm trying to find it. I'm not seeing it. I see a lot of streams. She right? does a lot of live streaming. Yeah, she does. But I'm looking for, maybe it's in a playlist. Maybe she made a playlist full of coffee. Recipes. Okay, so let's view that playlist. See, I'm having a hard time trying to find it, Lynn. And I can help you with all of this. I can help you organize this and teach you how to put a, in a, a, a better playlist and your live playlists and your, I mean, I can, like, I can help you. I can probably help a lot of you and I would love to do that. Maybe it's the most popular video. Whoa. I don't know. Lynn, I don't know where that video is, sweetie. Mm -mm. It's a great title. That title's, I mean, it's a kick-ass title. It really is. I would absolutely <coughs> freaking use it. I'm telling you. I just don't know where in the hell it is. I mean, I'm looking through all this stuff, and I see nothing with coffee. Is it the one that's got, like, two parts? That shows a coffee, you think? The making the tea, how to make tea. Where's that one? Um. So, um, Glenn, you need some help, sweetie. Thumbnails, you need help with. Is that sideways? And then, um, the I private chatted you a link. I don't know if you can pull it up. <laughs> Let's see. Chat. No. That's all right. That's okay. That's okay. I did a search on, I just did as Linioki T. Did you find it? I pulled it? up two videos. Okay. Got to run. We got a good look at all your channel. Uh, okay. Hey, thanks for stopping in, Dustin. Hey, did you find this helpful? Text Thank me and let you. me know. Okay. So this is about what's going on. Um, we're a little bit over an hour. Um, does anybody have any other questions? And Lynn, I can I can help you out. <laughs> what, does everybody understand how to like get your SEOs now? Or are mm -hmm. people like confused? Like, do you understand how to kind of rank your stuff? 
a lot better. Okay. Any of the tips, you can replay this. I will leave this up. Um, and you can over and over again, watch it. So I don't know. I'm just trying to help. Hopefully I help. I hope. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. We're big, little, big, little. <laughs> You're having entirely too much fun. I'm losing it. I am. It's about that time. Anyway. Um, okay. If nobody has any questions, there's six of us in the chat and I'm one of the six. So that's five of us in the chat. And, um, it's not bad. The channel only has like 30 people. I put you on my community, but not that that means anything. Yeah. Well, no, it helps. It does. And the next chat, what, is, what do people want to do? What's, what's, what's the top that people are struggling with? What do you need help with? I struggle with thumbnails, but. Okay. So thumbnails. So let's just take a look. Um, Mine are all over the place. Okay. I can help you with that. I'm, I know a little something, something about thumbnails. Just take a little quick look here. And we're going to share it. Share YouTube. Let's go to the channel. Your videos. I see what you watch. Mm hmm. I ain't hide anything. How's that look? <laughs> you notice anything? Yeah, all yours look the same. They have the same framing. Mm hmm. Same yeah. colors. Exact same colors. Mm -hmm. So when I make a thumbnail, the black border up here, right here, all the way across. Mm -hmm stays there. No, I never use it. No, never move it. That stays there. This orange cone with the Papa Tree logo, that stays there. That never moves. It's a template I have. I drop in the video and I add the words. The font I, is the same font and the same color. Okay. Every, every time. Look at that. Yeah, I was playing with one today that I think I can use for a template. Even see you in some of the older stuff I started. Some of the stuff, thousand view, thousand view stuff. Now, would you ever go back and change those thumbnails? I have, absolutely. I've absolutely gone back and changed thumbnails. <laughs> okay. Have I've done so that a few many, times and it seems to help. It does help. I have so many videos that it's it's hard. Like I have like that's that's a year ago. That was hilarious. I don't know why that didn't take off. That was funny. That was really funny. That was an older video a year. I just changed it to the form. This format is new. Look, this was a year ago for the Depraves when I met Ross in um South Car or North Carolina. I didn't, I didn't put that. I should put that in the thumbnail. I should put that. That's in my intro. That video. You need to thumbnail it. Huh? You need to thumbnail that. I need to take this and, yeah. That's a year ago. That's a year ago. Whoops. We're not playing my videos. I'll copyright strike myself. <laughs> this is old. This is see. This is me way back when trying to learn how to do what I've learned and to teach you guys how to do this stuff. That's Look. helpful. You want to see? You want to show Robert some drone footage? Go play this video. <laughs> he will love. He will love that video. I flew that video yeah. five miles with the drone. It was like way. Five miles? Yeah, one way. <laughs> Go play that video for him. He'll love it. Anyway, 
So this is this is it. Unless people have like some major questions, um, I just want to know what people. So th- you want to do thumbnails next week on how to yeah. build a thumbnail? What program I use to build a thumbnail? Because you're using a Mac, right? Yeah, I'm using a Mac. Okay. Do you have an iPhone? I do. And you can spend what a couple bucks? Yeah. On a program, okay. Yeah. I have the yeah. best type typo rama is the best. I use that. Or you can use the new um new software that's free that you can use to do stuff. But the thing okay. is, is on the typo rama, I make a template and then I drop the picture into the template. So in other words, I'm just dropping, I'm keeping everything the same, and I drop mm-hmm. it in there and then upload it. And I take the the thumbnail picture of what YouTube recommends and put it in there. And then I make the You must get good pictures there. recommended. Huh? Do you get good pictures recommended? Because ours are usually pretty crappy. It just depends. The 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 thing if you use what you what's recommended, your um your browsers, your browse will go through the roof. So if show you something. <clears throat> Share screen, Chrome, YouTube, audio, share, YouTube. Oh, who's live right now? Slow momentum. <laughs> There's slow mo- we could go we could go live into stro- slow mo and broadcast <laughs> live off of my channel. That would be funny. That would be pretty funny. That's not photo bombing. That's like live bombing him. That is. That's 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 good times. We should I should text him. All yeah, right. he should. We're coming, we're coming over here and we will go behind the scenes to my channel's analytics to the dark side of the force. <laughs> And you can see everything I've done. Look, I made forty dollars and forty-four cents. Whoa! Whoa! I'm freaking rich. You make you a million. Even, <laughs> you can even see what my top videos are, and and this is really important. And I'm going to show you all what why this is important. But I'm going to show you right now. Is we had a question about reach, and I can teach you how to read all this stuff. Yeah, I think that would be another good one is like a, a deep dive into analytics. Absolutely. I can teach you how to read this. I can teach you why this is probably the most important thing on YouTube. Yeah. Remember I was telling you I was trying to get above a four to a five to a six somewhere in my mm-hmm. click-through rate? There you go. Look. Cool. 4.2. <laughs> yep. And then in 90 days, I always look at 90 days. There we go, 4.6. Because I want to do a snapshot of what my channel is doing in 90 days. Suggested videos at 14.2. Total impression in 90 days is that. I will teach you how to get there. I want to teach you how to get there. I want you to be successful. And then I want you to advertise for me. <laughs> we can do that. What was, what was your question real quick of why? <laughs> Look, I'm down. Watch my videos, damn it. What was your question? <laughs> I don't even remember now. <laughs> it was uh, the click-through rater, wasn't it? No. Suggestions, monetize. This. Look at this. This is why SEOs are so important. Do you see this? Yeah. That's the number one search engine in the United States, in the world, not the United States, the freaking world. Number one. Yeah, mine doesn't look like that. It doesn't? No, not that good. Because I've optimized my stuff. I optimize my videos through SEOs to get at the best search results I can do. In other words, I'm giving my videos a fighting chance when I publish them 
I'm not just sending them out to be the, out into where I'm done. I'm just going to push it away. I don't do that. Yeah. Right. I put love into my videos. I want to like give them the best shot of growing. Yeah. My click through rates only 3.9. I usually like to, and then it looks like it's actually dropped nineteen percent. Three new subs. Okay, cool. So there's three of us in here, and I'm one of them. So there's two. So it's it's you and Lynn Oki, and everybody else has took off, which is fine. You probably <laughs> full momentum. I don't care. Um, we don't. I don't do the sub for sub thing. I don't. This isn't you know. Let's make friends kind of channel for people are watching this later. We're not, I'm not one of those channels. This is not one of those. Um, I don't want to be one of those with this channel. I want to grow organically. I want people to subscribe and actually watch the videos. Um, I'm raw. I'm unfiltered. Uh, and I'm just going to tell you the truth the way it is. Uh, I would love your feedback, your opinion, and have a decision with people, anything. This is for anybody who's watching this later on down the road. Um, and... I want to teach. I want to show you how to grow and how to succeed and how to thrive on YouTube. And the only way I can do that is step by step, class by class, and we'll, we'll get you there. I'll give you the tools. You have to go out and not be a tool and use them. <laughs> That's all I can do, right? Because these are perishables. If you use them, perish. Yeah. Right. You gotta, you gotta yeah. use this stuff. So anyway, that's what's going on. That's what's happening. What's going on in your life? You had an awesome premiere today. Plug your channel. You're up here with me. Tell me all about you. Hey, you just caught me off guard. Mm -hmm. We went to the keys. Okay, how was that? It was pretty freaking awesome, except for we got stuck. Get stuck. We got stuck. Lots Our trailer brakes locked up. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. You have a video on how to fix that? We did. We cut wires. Was there was there bleeping involved? <clears throat> there would have been. Is Robert sitting but next to you? I didn't video that because I knew better. Is Robert sitting next to you? Those are the best videos, Robert. <laughs> Robert, He's hello. Hello. <laughs> Robert, those are the best videos. Don't <laughs> not film those. Those are the drama videos. That's your money maker. That's yeah. the money shot. Come on now. All right. Well, I mean, I got that. So you got so trailer break video coming out. That's cool. You guys are awesome. I love your channel. Uh, you guys put out some good quality videos. Even the old stuff on the RC video side, I went and watched one mm -hmm. of those. I don't know if Robert told you, and I commented on it. I'm sure he was laughing. Um, Probably. I dropped a comment. He didn't say anything to me. He didn't. Yeah, I dropped yeah. a comment over there on that, and um, yeah. So. Share this out. Tell your friends if they want to, if they're YouTubers and they're creators and they want to grow and they want to be bigger in the community. I'm not a grow channel. I won't do that in here. No, but you're teaching and that's more important. But I will teach. Yeah. And I'll teach my way. And yeah, you that's more important. Learn. And you can learn your way. But I guarantee I'll make it fun. So anyway, I'm going to end it like I always end it. Oh, Papa Drew. Go over to Papa Drew's RV. That's my other channel. That's where I'm more family friendly rated, if you can believe that. Um, I have a review that I shot on the Green Mountain Grill, and I got to reshoot that because I use some expletives in there, and I don't do that on Papa Drew. I just do that here. So I got to reshoot that, which sucks. <laughs> I have my hair like all done. I look really pretty. Um, I got to redo that. And we did Cleo some more dock diving, and that'll come out. I hopefully. Wednesday. I got a lot of stuff going on this week, so I'm going to try and shoot for a Wednesday video. I might do a live stream on Wednesday from Papa Drew mm -hmm. just because um, there's been a lot of dog content, and I want to break that up a little bit if I can. Uh, I just got a brand new ring light, too. Maybe I should do a review on that. 
and it's like remote control and it's starting to get dark and i kind of wanted to just try it out real let's see oh oh look at you look at that that's one light let's fire up the other lights let's see let's get these lights fired up let's just see because now i'm excited there's the other light holy crap i'm gonna go blind let's see how's that look <laughs> you're gonna get a sunburn this is cool. And I haven't fired. Wait, I'm going to fire up the other light. Wait a minute. Oh. How's that? I guess you are in the spotlight. Light. Huh? You're in the spotlight. I am. I am definitely. Can you see me? I can see you. You Look, I'm even casting shadows. It's so bright in here. Is it bright on my. Is there shadow on my. Wow. Not on your face. The That's... mic is giving a shadow. It is. Hello. Um, yeah, you just dude, shaved about five years off your age. Did I really? Mm hmm Wow. This is like unbelievable. I've never had this many studio lights. If I could turn the camera around to show you the lighting, because I got lights here, here, and here, and I got three tripods going at different stages of lighting with ring lights over here and LED square lights here. And then I use for my webcam, I use a DSLR. You can yeah. see a little bit of it in the mirror behind you. Can yeah. You now? Yeah. And we can talk about lighting. And there's so much stuff I can cover. And I can really help everybody out and go blind at the same time. So anyway, Let's try that's it. Blind. Yeah, we got some fun stuff coming up on Papa yeah. Drew. Um, we don't have any camping coming up till next month. We keep canceling camping because the dog stuff is really taking priority. But Cleo's cut her ear. Uh, Great Danes get this problem on their ears where they cut and bleed. So that's not um, – we're going to get that healed. And it takes a long time, but I don't want to stop Cleo's classes because she's progressing so well. It's unbelievable. Um, maybe we'll get a sponsor for CBD oil. Mm. Stone dog. That's what I need to do. Yeah, I'll tell you that stuff works. Uh, but anyway, that's what's going on with uh, Papa Drew. I want to thank uh, Harvey Weekends for coming up. Uh, go check out their channel. They're awesome. And uh, they're just, they're two great people. And it's, it's fun to see the dynamic. They work so well together and get along. And they're just sweethearts. And I wish they were out here in California because we'd go drink some wine and some beers maybe. Um, Absolutely. Maybe they can come out, not this year, Quartzsite, maybe next year. And, next year. Uh, just think of, we will be having classes away or classes like this live at Quartzsite for the meetup. We have over 50 channels that are showing up. Ha! We have some big name channels that showed up. <clears throat> Maybe Traveling Robert might show up there. Possibly, depending on what time. Just maybe. Grand Adventures is going to show up. So if you are a Grand Adventurer and you like Mark, he's going to show up. I pulled him away from the slopes. Can you believe that? I pulled him away from skiing on the slopes to come hang out with us down at Quartzsite. So if you are... A YouTube channel, and you want to come down and hang out with us courtside, come on down. More the merrier. Um, I'm not the mask police, nor do I want to be the mask police. You see people wearing masks, stay six feet apart, just be cool, show love, show kindness, show respect, be cool to each other. And as I say when I exit all of my videos, thank you for watching. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>